Hi, I'm Glenn Sharp. And I'm Ewan Fletcher. And welcome to the January edition of the Sharp Accounting News. Coming back to work after the New Year is always a great time to sit down and set some goals. Um, Goal setting at this time of year is obviously a really um, opportunistic time to review where you're at and have a look at what you might want to achieve in the 2022 financial year. Does your business have a contingency plan in place if a number of your staff cannot work due to COVID isolation? If you don't, you need to put one in place and give considerations to things like what cash flow do you need available to get your business through if you can't operate either fully or at all for a few days and what changes do you need to make within your business so that you can still continue to operate in some form on limited staff numbers. A reminder that the instant asset write-off is still in existence, at least until January 2022. Um, So if you're considering purchasing any new equipment, um, it may pay to get on the front foot and do that sooner rather than later because of long lead times with equipment purchases. But keep in mind that it is still in existence, so any new equipment does qualify for the um, instant asset write-off. If you operate your business within Victoria, you should give consideration to the Jobs Victoria Fund. This provides up to a $20,000 grant to cover 12 months worth of employment expenses for a number of ages and demographics that the Victorian government would like to see back into the workforce. After our economy being affected for two years due to the COVID pandemic, um, the economic forecasts moving forward are varied. So um, interest rates are predicted to potentially increase over the next 12 months, which is probably no surprise considering they've been so low. Um, but the economic forecasts vary from being wildly optimistic to um, doom and gloom uh, and somewhere in between. Um, the, the most rational forecasts seem to be that this year will be a fairly steady financial year. Um, but then again, no one's really got a crystal ball and can see what further impacts COVID might have on the economy. 